you know, we're on, uh, hey guys. Hey, what's it's up? It's us. What's up, guys? I think we're on, uh, what is this, week 29 or something yeah, like something that? Yeah, something like that. Dude, who um, counts, man? Every week is week one at the SLS. That's how excited we are to get into this incredible gameplay. I think we're kind of close uh, to it already. So, uh, I mean, we don't have any interviews yet. No, we don't. But or maybe we do and we're hiding them. I don't really know what's happening. Well, actually, uh, let's do an we'll interview now. Josh, how are you doing today? Oh, you know, today, not too bad. Um, Do you ever get custody of the kids, or is that still in, uh, no, in limbo? No, that's kind of why I'm a little, you know, I'm a little down today. It's tough. Dude, don't, don't, you don't need to play it up for the camera, man. You know you were tanking those fucking hearings to not get those kids, man. <laughs> I don't need to deal that's with them. Right, that's right. That means we can just queue up for solo queue all night long, baby. That's all I got to do now. But before we do that, we got some hot games. Game one, Glacial Valkyrie versus Vegan Chicken, you know, two stalwarts in the league already. You know, we, we've seen their games. I can't wait for this matchup. And then UMass Amherst versus Raw Reapers. Again, I, I'm just pumped. That will be a good I, I can't one. wait. That will be a good one. UMass I am was looking wetting good last myself week. thinking about it, man. Yeah. I am, I'm losing my mind. Now, do we have pick ban yet? We got oh, pick ban. Let's get great. right into pick ban. We're not, none of the bullshit today. We're getting right into it. Show me that. Little action band, you know, maybe it's a little bit of a pocket pick. No grappling hook allowed. No, nah, dude. Action's pretty crazy, man. He's a crazy jam. Can he still do that thing where he just revives you? Just goes oh, the spinny? The rock oh, yeah, he can keep spinning. Yeah, he's crazy. he's crazy like they that. Need to touch the <laughs> dude, they banned Vala Bear. What a bad game. Oh, How could they sucks. ban my little bear? He's the man. Why Ezreal, you know? Ori, Jinx, and Aatrox all gone. Wow, Caitlyn Lockin. Insta lock, Caitlyn. Right, Caitlyn, you know, really mid strong range. laner. Um, kind of has a bit of a trough in the mid game. Very strong early, you know, gets those items, can scale. And once she's level six, you know, she's like, oh, six items. Oh, God. Dude, what is that whistle, dude? That's coming over the mic. There's no way good. it's not. That's honestly good. That, that, that resonated in my eardrums. Anywho, six item Kate, you know, pretty strong up there with regular AD carries. But that, ooh, that bot lane, you know. Kate, one thing Kate doesn't like is lanes that can hard engage on her, and that's what that lane can do. You know, little rel knock up, little rel stun, gin stun on top of it, big burst damage. They both got good burst. Caitlyn's not gonna like that. Gonna try to harass, but you know, Jin has good range too. The harass is not gonna really stick. Oh, Caitlyn Lux. That is some gross stuff. You think she'll right go there. for it, uh, support the Lux? I, that's that's my first guess. Ka Caitlyn Lux is a very high octane, high poke, high damage lane. Um, if you hit one trap, you're dead. Legit. It's just that simple. Oh, hit one Q, trap, boom, headshot, net, boom, mm -hmm. Q. The Lux is, E. It's crazy. Lux. Oh, yeah. Caitlyn ult. You're not going to live. Yeah, you're dead. I mean, you're you, done. You're in, you end up dying there. You're done. And, you know, has some flex potential to go mid. I expect to see that support. Talia, again, even more flex potential. We can see that jungle. We can see that mid. Um, I kind of like what they're doing right here. A lot of flexibility going right now. Probably most likely Talia mid and the Lux bottom. But we'll see. You know, we got a, got a lot uh, going on right now. I think that makes sense. I mean, it is, like you said, just such a crazy lane to deal with. Especially yeah. with Jin. You can't move. No. You get queued, you're kind of done, man. I mean, yeah. maybe he'll run cleanse for that fact. Who the, knows? the one thing I will say about laning against Jin is that man's fast. He does get the... Anytime I'm <laughs> playing a skill shot champion bot, man, I hate playing against uh, anyone with high movement speed. You know, the the Jins of the world. A uh, Jin Janna lane? Oh, fuck, dude. Oh come God. on. <laughs> Stop running so fast. I want to hit my Q. Even Wait. when, like, poking mm -hmm. or trading during farm, like, farming phases or, like, early lane phase. That being said, I just like... Just walk up and hit on I do like crazy. the draft from Vegan Chicken. You know, a lot of engage options. Lee Sen, a very strong early game jungler, can easily snowball your team. Uh, good engage uh, layering with the Rel. I like what they're doing so far. Um, still a lot of pick ban to go. Uh, top laners, mid laners, both banned. See what they're going to do here. Another Aurelia ban that could either go top or mid. You know, getting that, getting that off the table. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I think Gracial Valkyrie had an Aurelia mid player. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up with Ooh, something else. Someone was. Um, I know we interviewed the guy. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember the team. Yeah, but I yeah, don't. I remember, and that was pretty hot. So you know, target banning that. You know, a lot of mid picks coming off of here. So. I wonder if they think that Talia is going jungle, which is, at this point, I wouldn't be too surprised <laughs> to see that. 
Lucia Jungle has been a thing for quite a while now. It's always been pretty strong. Man, that is incredible. I, I don't know what the consequences of showing this on stream would be, but uh, if you know, you know. So, all right, getting into the first pick here. Bands are done. Camille, Lissandra, Aurelia, Akali. We're not going to see them this game. But you know who we are going to see? Ari. Ooh, Again, you know, see? this team right now is very solid and a little snowball dependent. Get that Ari, Lee Sin, Jin ahead. They're going to dominate. You know, Jin, couple items, man, running the rift. Same thing with Ari. If you can get that little bit of an advantage, you can keep pushing that tempo, pushing that uh, progress of the game. Uh, oh, Nico. Oh, Syndra. I don't mind Syndra Strong either. against Ari, right? Yeah, like, yeah definitely a decent poker. matchup. Syndra is a very, very powerful champion. Always good to see a little Syndra action. The burst damage Legit. on that team is insane. Like, if you... Lock, it, oh, I Lock love in the Cho. I, oh, no. Orin is no. good, too. He's but, like man, Orin, do I love no. a Cho gas here. How can that team kill Cho? They can't. <laughs> you can't. You cannot. They cannot. Dude, you're they just, can, come they on, can kill man. him. Come Easily, on, they can kill you him. don't gotta do that. Just pick weak side show. Come on, I don't pick Darius. That's that's a that's a confidence Locking pick right it, there. You don't have any counter picks. That's that saying right there. No counter picks. I'm gonna pick Darius. You pick Orn. I'm running you. I mean, I don't think I want to be Darius into that team. I'm kind no. of surprised. Um, yeah, a lot of you get you get close. Exactly. You. Lee can kick you away. There's a lot, the a lot of means to kite this area. So he's going to have to rely a lot on flanks and getting his early advantage in lane. But he doesn't have the last pick. So it, we're going to see a counter pick out top lane. And that is beautiful. That is a... Oh, yeah. That is one of the few champions that can match a Darius level one. The Olaf pick coming oh, through. Oh, shit. And Let's wow, go. these are these are some high octane, high damage. Fuck you on team fighting kind of teams right here. They're going to be getting be into it. This will be good. I love to see an Olaf at any point. Guy's a Viking. Right. How can you hate him? So, we got a, a smidge of a... No, we don't have a delay. What, what delay are we talking stalling. about? Zach, just get right into the game. I, I see the game on the television. Do you see the, the cameraman? Well, the, yeah, Josh has got it. I, I, I got this shit solo. Come on. Get back in this motherfucker. What is that, Chase? Yeah, look. Don't, don't care. <laughs> is that Ryan Reynolds? Why do you have so many pictures of Ryan Reynolds? What is going on? Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get us into game, Aid Man. What's Zach? Zach, who's pro? Zach, get us into game. Yes, we are. Get us into game. My God. Good Lord. What is going on in the game? What are all these banners? What's going on? What is it? No, uh, no, it's, it's the world banners, which we would, oh we would love is to see really? on the live broadcast, but... Is it really worlds? Who's even in it? You know, some boys, some <laughs> men. <laughs> yeah, it's usually, usually males. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and we're jumping right into the action. As we can see, the camera work is flawless. We're ready to go. You would have thought that there was a fight going on there, but actually... We're diving right into this start from Glacial Valkyrie. They're on the move right oh, now. Yeah, look at a bit of a top lane camp going on. I love little level one strategies like this. Who cares if we're playing the early game safe? But is Olaf going to spot this one out? This is really genius. They have oh, Olaf no, cut off slightly. Yeah. Are they going to commit a flash? They will. Oh. The Q does land. Olaf does not flash away. He takes a ton oh. of damage. P pulled in by the Darius. The flash over Woo. first blood will go over to the Darius. Only having to blow two flashes for that. Not too bad. The ghost as well. That is going to be a crucial first blood. And, you know, Olaf's not going to like that. There goes level one advantage. That's Gone. really tough. I mean, that's four assists, right? You got assists on everyone else on the team. And Darius. Yeah, that's, a, that's a long. Oh, he's going oh. boots. Love that. Love that adaptation. Go fast. Yeah, go fast. Go fast. Darius scaled pretty well with movement speed. You know, getting those autos off, chasing somebody down. And against an Olaf, too, who can slow you with cues, having those boots are going to be crucial for lane. Olaf's not going to like that. Even when Lee Sin comes into the lane there, he's going to be able to avoid some more stuff. Maybe get a, a lucky Q dodge. That is true. Not too bad. All right, top side start by the Lee Sin. We're going to have opposite sides of the map being split. 
Lee Sin starting up on the top side. Talia starting on the bottom side. It looks like Lee Sin maybe even plays for an early level 2 gank on the top lane. It knows there's no flash, but ha they have a ward on top of that red. Unreal. That being said, Lee Sin is either playing for a, a fucking full clear here, or he's going to clear this camp and then gank top. I'd be really surprised to see him do this. The top lane is down to flash, and Darius is playing pretty aggressive. So maybe we see that, but I, I honestly think he's just going to go to his Raptors after this. He's going for a full clear, knows he doesn't have anything top lane, and he is pathing exactly in that direction. Who's that? What does he have? What oh, is that? Oh my god, we just had an invader. What is what, god. what is this? This looks like... Oh, we are blessed today. Robin? Many blessings, propaganda what? from <laughs> all so different many? corners what of is the this? earth. Did you, did you rob a McDonald's? <laughs> What is this stuff? <laughs> That's funny, actually. All Zach orders is Happy Meals. Yeah, dude. No kidding. That's all he can eat. Oh, I want that. Who it. is this? Is this Lady Venom? Stomach. What is this piece of shit? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. That is weird. She's hitting me? No. Yeah, so. that is interesting. Uh, that looks like the uh, the chick from Promise Neverland. Oh, wait, yes. Yeah, you wait, remember the, the, uh, the maid that came later? In season one? Yeah, in season one. Well, is it, there's only there's season a, no, one. There's a season two. Well, a lot of people said it was bad. I didn't watch it. I don't know if I remember. They, the, I don't know if I remember her. Oh, maybe that was in oh. season two then. I don't remember. God, I remember watching a season two. I don't know. But anywho, back to this game. Uh, Looks like nothing lane, happened. Yeah, you know, bot lane is pushing up. Uh, got B red on the AD here, you know. That man, I don't, if you don't support, you know, having him on the AD, the gin, I like to see that. Had a bit of a push on the lane, but he takes a lot of damage. That poke is no joke from the Caitlyn and the Lux. He can handle himself and down man, there. <laughs> man, poor little Olaf is not in a good spot. This is not where you want to be against the Darius. You know? <laughs> Look who's coming up, too. Yeah, I mean. oh, that is not looking too good. They could, Talia I mean, lands they could 1E, it's over, dude. They can dive this easily. The wave, it's a pretty decent-sized wave crashing. They're going to lead. Darius leads with the E. Coming in, the damage is going to be too much. Oh. This is the Talia knockback. So Olaf is going to live that. A slight, slight, ever so slight um, screw up by Glacial Valkyrie. They're not going to get that kill. But threatening him off. The flash in. The damage is there. Oh, Olaf might pick this up. Oh, my God. He's Otto's, so low, but go. another Q comes in, and that'll be enough oh, to finish shit. him off. A very aggressive play by Talia, but that pays off. Olaf could be missing multiple waves, crashing into the tower. No teleport to get back to lane, and his disadvantage only gets worse. A risky pick and not paying off so far. Yeah, that was a little scary. Um, mm. Looks like Lee Sin's doing some damage real quick to this. Big Sandra. damage, yeah. Not going to be a kill, but, you know, get that damage advantage in the mid lane. Maybe force out an early teleport. Ari Give... needs it, for yeah. sure. Yeah, Ari would not mind that, you know. Ari doing pretty well in the laning phase. Pretty even on CS. Getting that little bit of an advantage, you know. Not going to be too shabby for her. Oh, man. I mean, if you... I know we know Olaf is behind, but he's got 14 farm right now. That is not good. Lee Sin, make your way up. I don't know. I mean, Darius has that axe, Hearthbound axe. He's getting more movement speed. He is in love with the movement speed. He's in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. You have to work the rest of your lives, and that guy made that lyric. I know, dude. That's a good point. <laughs> man, that man made one song. He didn't have to work ever again. Amazing. Thanks. So, thanks. Uh, Olaf, you know, gets to crash the wave up here, but Darius is back, and he is, uh, he's not going to be loving that. He's going to be running it, running it down here. It is not a good, <laughs> not a good spot to be little Olaf. You know, Darius is going to completely zone him out of the wave. No EXP for you. You can't even interact. Darius loses some minions, but gets the EXP. This is a good Good lane move by him, you know. Just getting that advantage. The wave will eventually crash in, but Olaf is going to have to not farm anything. Just kind of sit in this brush, soak EXP. Darius knows that, though. Going to be going in for the all-in. Lands every single ability. There it is, the hemorrhage. Wow. Oh, Frost, oh. the ultimate. That's going to be enough. But a trade kill doesn't triumph. go over. The triumph, triumph right? is just oh enough God. to live. God, and oh, Olaf thought he might have had an opportunity to get back into this one, but falls a little bit short. Darius is extending his lead even further. And man, the Olaf pick is just not looking too good right now. Definitely not. That's unfortunate that the Darius gets level six such at such a pivotal moment. Yeah. 
or, or actually give me a um, bunch of it. Kind of perfect timing. Darius had his flash, and I think he used his ghost as well to secure that kill. Yep. Five max stack hemorrhage with the alt at level five, you're dead. I mean, no matter what's happening. Nice. Yes. Um, got the Drake going here for vegan chickens. As much as they hate animal cruelty, they're killing one right now, so I don't really know how that works. Is the Drake exactly. an animal, or is it kind of like a mythical beast? Right, but like, I mean, say they say there were dragons everywhere, right? Would I, I consider them an animal? Say, you know? oh. Now, are vegans against killing animals or eating them? The mistreatment. So it's kind of both. They they don't eat them because of mistreatment in the industry. I think is the okay. is the logic. Well, then they should be punishing carnivores. Right, they should be like murdering me. Yeah, sure. exactly. They're killing animals. That's not that's messed up. You never know. The activism could go too so wait, far. So, one day. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Of going just, too far. This old He dies to that for sure. Yeah, hemorrhage, boom. Oh, shit. That is just so gross, man. Oh, Darius snowballing, god. man. Good luck playing the game. Oh, good pick from them, huh? With the Darius. I mean, mm -hmm. we weren't too sure based on the comp from Vegan Chicken, but I mean in lane after that first blood, and we got some serious stuff going on bot lane. It looks yeah, like big Lux damage is Lux is in trouble. And the flash, oh! the auto attack, and wow. it's going to be enough. The Q double. auto attack. Ooh, double but snare, though. The damage is going to be enough. The Q oh! misses. Caitlyn barely can't finish him off. Jin running for his life. Come on, do the something. The curtain call comes through. The flash, the auto attack is going to be enough. And she oh, misses the Q no. on two. No oh! way. Oh! Oh! Caitlyn, Caitlyn, you can do it. You can do it. This is a huge can't play. Can't you do it? Can't you do it? Dude, this is going Holy to be too shit. much. Holy shit, okay. Here comes Tulia. It's not going to be enough. Oh, and my God. There's Caitlyn. Come on. Yep. You got it. You got it. It's a little bit of attacks. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Wow. So that was gorgeous by Caitlyn. Absolutely insane. Um, took Jin down pretty you hard know, after that double snare from Luxdaff. Extremely Luxdaff. well wow. played by the Jin and the uh, the Rel for making it as close as it was. You know? Absolutely. They lose the support early on in the fight, but the Caitlyn just DPSs the whole time and it brings the hate. It's Dude, over. Dude, this guy cannot go back to lane. Someone no. needs to help him now. It's done. It's it's tough for the guy. Absolutely. 0-5, oh, nine minutes into the game. I feel really fucking bad for this guy. Um, I would be very upset. Only Poppy, you know, I don't know how you're sounding in comms, my friend, but uh, look, uh, you'll 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 tell Lee Sin to get. The I don't fuck think up bringing two is lane. enough. It might not be. His alt is on cooldown He lands completely. the Q. The CC is here. The charm does miss. They are not synced up with their CC, but I think it will still be enough. Oh. The shutdown comes to that 700 gold going to Lee Sin. Jeez. That is going to be some good gold for them to work with. But yeah, the Darius gets the shutdown, but Olaf got none of that. He is not going to be a happy camper. Mm -mm. I'm going to see Talia coming right down with the wall. That guy's dead. Oh my goodness gracious. Everything Goodbye. lands. Every single thing lands. There he goes. 8 to 2 now. Yeah, Only this, a 2.3k gold lead. They do have that first dragon, but that was a pretty yeah, this, solid chain. This snowball is kind of insane right now. The Caitlyn getting super far ahead. Same with the Darius. Both champions are going to do really well with that early snowball gold and get their lead even further. Olaf, though, will get a plate here top lane, so he's going to enjoy that. A little bit of extra gold going back to himself. But right now, it's Caitlyn as fed as she is. It's going to be pretty tough for the Jin to survive in this lane. They do have engage opportunities, but the Caitlyn is just fed out of her mind. Fed Caitlyn and Fed Darius is not a fun thing to go against. No. I feel like she can kind of poke while Darius waits for his opportunity to move in. Not a lot of engage besides the Talia or maybe the here and there Lux snare. Maybe the Cinder E if they come up too close. But yeah, they. I, I think they're waiting. They want to counter engage. I think right because mm -hmm. Leeson jumps in, Ari jumps in, Rel jumps in, whatever. Get something down. Olaf's trying to charge in. Oh, we see a hex flash, but that's warded. So. Yeah, you know, just kind of going for a little play. Not, nothing too crazy there. They have a lot of pick potential. That's what they have. They don't have, like, really hard engage, but their single target isolation damage is absolutely absurd. Mm. And that's what's going to be winning them this game. Oh, the snare lands onto the Lux, but a beautiful snare by the Lux oh, going man. to save their lives. And, oh, my God, the damage is too huge. The ultimate comes from Caitlyn. Here comes the curtain call to carry back some damage. Lee Sin kicks, but kicks him out of the curtain call. Misses the damage the isn't there. He's missing everything. Lee Sin going to be getting some massive damage down. The Lux almost certainly going to fall and does. Caitlyn in trouble. Four people down bot lane. She is almost certainly going to die, and yep. she does. A huge shutdown goes over to Jin, and a really nice play by Vegan Chicken to get themselves back into this game. And that's what you got to do when you have a couple people who are down. Darius still going crazy up here. I know. You have a couple people who are down. Just brute force your way into a lane. Uh -huh. See what you can do. Got a couple kills. No matter what's going on, you're going to come out on top if you brute force four people down there. 
I mean, it's very rare, I feel like, where you're going to lose that. Unless Lee Sin... I'm sorry, uh, Talia came down at some point, but that's not happening. Uh, we do see her up top, though, and I think Olaf might uh, be in trouble yet again. Yeah, that's tough. Yep. Not oh, enough turret damage. Darius is going to survive. Owen's oh, six up there, man. That is tough. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the thing about that matchup. Whoever gets the first blood, snowballs out of control if you play it right, and it's just over. Olaf can beat Darius, not when you give a first blood to the Darius. That's just unfortunate. Right. Not not fun for him. Um, and we see Vegan Chicken securing a second dragon after that. Oh, but, you know, Lux and uh, Lux and Kate making their way over. Maybe they can snipe something to do a little snipe Yeah, page. maybe. Uh, oh, actually pushes them off. They're respecting that. They're respecting the, the Q ultimate for sure. Look at that damage. Oh, oh and Lee Sen weaves in the smite perfectly. They didn't quite layer all the burst. And Lee Sen, a really nice play. Definitely could have been a steal there. But... Delays the smite for when he has his Q up. Q smite is one of the best objective secures in the game right up there with like a Cho'Gath and a Nunu so really really mm. nice played well played by the Lee Sin yep that missing health damage definitely does a chunk even on epic monsters um I think it does have a max damage output but I mean it's doing a shitload that with smite good luck you know what I mean so pretty secured second one for them at 13 minutes now uh 3k gold difference at the moment from Eric <laughs> that's tough. Not wrong. That's oh, tough. Man. Oh man, he's right too. That's I mean, that is what he would do. Oh, uh, let's see what we got going on. We see Ari straying a little bit from her post in the mid lane, coming down to the river, meeting up with Lee Sin. It looks like they want to do something. They know Sindred's down here. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, it was match. warded on the way down, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, both sides are posturing for this bot play. Maybe to see who pulled the trigger. Ari just goes back mid. Doesn't see anything happening here. It's probably the right play. They clear this ward. And do they have Rift? Are they going to try to pop it here? I don't think so. They popped the top. They did pop the top. That is correct. Uh, yeah, they definitely popped the top. This area is absolutely <laughs> okay. going off up here. But yeah, you know, four people posture down there. Doesn't turn into too much. Cinder oh. was some good damage right oh, there. Man. Absolutely massive. But the Talia caught out a little bit in the enemy jungle. Here comes Curtain Call. The kick by the Lee Sin. Knocks him out of the Curtain Call again. Again, asynchronous. The Talia running for her life. Here comes the bot lane, though. The damage is going to be there. But Jin is untouched. Mm. Talia gets out with her ultimate. But here comes Ari. How on the flank. Kills the Caitlyn. And that damage is going to be enough. The Lux falls as well. A bit of a desync there for Glacial Valkyrie. And it's not going to turn out well for them. Oh, Ari boy. about to pick up another kill on top of it. Wow, that's a shutdown, too. And there it is right there. Shutdown. Going out to the Syndra. Oh, that's a little my too, that's God. That's a little too much. So that Syndra's full HP, full mana. And she gets a revenge kill out of it. So could have gone a little bit worse for Glacial Valkyrie, but still not the play you want to be looking for when you're so far ahead. Wow. So Ari gets her shutdown, but ends up dying to the Syndra. Gives a little bit, gold, a little bit of gold over to her. I want to say decent um, yeah. from Vegan Chickens there. Definitely misplays by Glacial Valkyrie going on. Um, it was great until they did give that kill over to Syndra. That was a s small fault there. I think I think you're you're flipping them. Glacial Valkyrie got all those kills there. Oh yes. Oh okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. So yeah. Either way, I mean. Yeah. I know. Actually, like, this game surprisingly close. You know, only two cases separating the teams. Well, it's anyone's game at this point. Uh, the Caitlyn, though, going to take this tower, and uh, yeah, she's getting quite fierce. Already has the Storm Razor built. Oh. Both sides of the Storm Razor. Oh. Could be doing some good damage there. Both sides probably looking for a Gale Force wow. to follow that. Maybe an IE, but probably Gale Force. They like that mobility that that provides for them. Yeah, and you look at them, and they're actually pretty much identical yeah. as far as gold goes. Same farm, same KDA. The point. difference is top lane. I don't want to. Uh -huh. I don't want to flame, but like it's just a top gap this game, and it's arguably not even the top laner's fault. You know, no. one team goes for an aggressive level one, the other team goes for a passive level one, and the aggressive team just gets rewarded. Being rewarded, the damage coming in mid here. Everyone collapsing, but smartly the Ari backs off. The way he's gonna be here, but Ari one key will clear that one out. They're not gonna get the tower. Oh, they get a demolish oh stack God. off. They will get the tower, and the damage is absolutely huge. Ari has to jump away to avoid the Caitlyn ult. And this team is a train right now. They're just running over look anything at, in its tracks, running to the jungle. Lee sends like, please give me this ground, please, please let me live, let me live. He's going to get out, but here comes Darius. Pops the ghost. The 
he lands ultimate lands the Q as well. You do not want to fight this Darius. Goodbye, buddy. You're oh dead. Oh that is not God. the decision you want to be making. Darius picking up a nice, easy free kill right there. That and that's full gold on the Lee Sin as well. More damage coming in over here. The Rel falls as well. Jin gonna have to run for his life. Darius chasing him down, running over to Olaf. Is that going to be enough? They just push mid out. And yeah, they have threat onto this mid lane inner, threat onto this dragon as well. Threat onto the Rift Herald, why not? They can do whatever they want right now, they're so far ahead. Absolutely, this is pretty dominant at the moment. A pretty pivotal part of the game. Yeah, that was... Um, dragon up in 10 seconds. They're going to get both objectives at once. This is dominance so. right here. When you can spread your resources like this and completely control the map, that is how you do it right there. Syndra even teleporting into the mid to ensure that her team is able to secure the yep. objectives. Love that. Really, really well played. Love that. Um... I mean, what are they going to do with this rip? That's the question. So they could drop it mid. No, maybe bots? I don't even know. They could use a distraction or save it really after the dragon. They are in very good position to grab the dragon as long as Darius can make his way over here untouched. Dragon's already at half HP. I think that's free for them. So, yeah, third dragon definitely yeah. going to Glacial Valkyrie. There. Yeah, you know, that, and that amazing that backing is coming in. So, wow. Well, actually, no, that's the second dragon, right? Well, third. Vegan had two, and then Glacial just got there. Okay, okay. They got first there first. They got there first, yep. So the Dragon Stack, even off the table for Vegan Chicken, so yep. they don't even have that going for them anymore. This is not looking too good. That being said, though, we hit late game. Honestly, neither of these teams are, like, heavy late game teams. Uh, the Olaf Lee Sin, very mid game focused. Same with Ari, same with Jin. I guess six item Jin is still going to do a ton of damage, but it's more bursty rather than DPS. I don't know where you find the DPS on this team. It's going to be very, very tough. Olaf, though, does get his Mythic, so he's not completely irrelevant. He can maybe chase some people down in a fight, maybe run the Caitlyn down, but it's going to be very, very tough. He just does not have the resources to max the Darius right. at all. I guess if we think about it, what's worse, the Darius into that team or the Olaf into this team? I'm thinking the Olaf into this team is worse. you got Talia, Syndra, Caitlyn with the traps on the net, well, and Lux see, with everything. But, you know what I mean? I but know. the great equalizer is Olaf's ultimate, right? Mm, so Very true. Even though you think you have all these kite tools, Olaf pops his ult, he still has an opportunity to engage. Man, dude, he's not even worth gold, man. You're killing a cannon minion. That is not worth it. He pops ultimate to get out, and that's what he needs to do. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's taking all what the damage happening? on the planet. That poor, poor they man. Say. What did he ever do to you? Oh, people that rotating, man is trying though. to feed his kill. This kids. was bad. Oh, this my God. Yeah, Lisa picks this one up. This might be an absolute disaster fight. The oh chain is God. untouched. The damage is huge. Caitlyn oh trying to kite, get the autos oh off. But Lee Sin coming in again. The damage is there. And one more auto attack was certainly going to do it. And taking them down. Jin picking that up. A triple kill. Absolutely huge. Mm -hmm. The TB going into bot to stop the Darius push. And there it is. Vegan Chicken are back into this one. But the Rift is still bot lane here. Are they going to be able to get the charge off on the inhibitor turret? I don't think Ari can get close enough to Darius to kill this guy. He's going to push this all the way in and get some damage onto the inhibitor. But here comes Lee Sin. Maybe he stayed a little too long. The charm land. Oh, the charm just hits a minion. He gets out of there. But the charge hits. More damage onto that inhibitor tower. But Vegan Chicken picking up a ton of gold there. Yeah. Only down 2k now. Pretty much the same as five minutes ago. Eight minutes ago, even. And they are right back into this game. A huge pick. A huge play by Vegan Chicken. I'm struggling to find the word. I know there's a word where you're confident, but like foolishly, that's the hubris. way. Hubris. There you go. That hubris. is how you describe. They're hubris. Yeah. Oh Just my God. destroyed them right there. You Very know? strange play to go after a guy not really worth too much, not doing too much, just kind of farming on, around his tower. Three people end up dying for that for nothing, honestly. Um, you just have a huge rotation by vegan chickens. Well done. Um Glacial Valkyrie definitely put themselves in a position that <laughs> kind of made it easy for Vegan Chicken to just come over there and uh, fuck them up, honestly. Um, despite the gold difference on the people who were there, primarily where Olaf just doesn't have a lot of gold, um, yeah, it just ended up being a you disaster know, for him. You really gotta give Olaf know. props. You know, he stayed in the game. The lighting phase was horrible, but at least he's kind of soaking the XP, getting the minions back. He's not completely irrelevant. I mean, if he gets one decent team fight, he can kind of be relevant, you know, just get some gold back. But that being said, the ball is still definitely in Galatial Valkyrie's court to lose. They are still extremely strong, have complete control of the map. But if they get a little overconfident, they're kind of doing it now. Will they find an opportunity to get back into this? The charm or the root lands onto the rel. Going to be a huge amount of damage. No threat of engage there. 
yeah, you know, we're gonna have to look at these objectives here. Baron is up on the map. Dragon coming up in a minute 20. Both teams gonna wanna be taking that. They're clearing out the vision right here. Maybe looking to go for the Baron. He fucked up. The heck? And they will. They will start off the Baron. They did not clear the pit, so they have complete vision of this. They know oh the Baron's boy. being started up there, baiting them in for a fight. That being said, there are two people bot lane. Neither of them have teleport up at the moment. Darius pulling two, and they know that Long this leaf. is the go card to start the Baron. Lisa's going to have to go for a steal at this point. It's going to be a mismatch fight. Let's go to the Baron fit. Let's go to the Baron fit here. But he's in. He's doing some bad oh, damage, but no. he falls, and that's going to be the Baron falling. But here comes oh. the curtain call. Everyone is low. Olaf's going to be coming in. Is this his moment to shine? It is. It is. That's going to be B Red picking Keep up going. a kill. Going. Jin going absolutely massive. A good oh, ball right by the Talia might buy some time, but the damage is going to go be Rel. there. Go Rel. Go Rel. Low HP. Rel looking for a massive engage. Has the flank. He's stall, on the stall. Board, though. Oh. One oh, recall gets oh. off. The Baron recall allows him to escape, and everyone else escapes as well. Wow. They get a kill, but that is not worth the baron the inhibitor turret bot lane falls as well the inhibitor under siege now and you know they get the baron they get a kill in response but i mean vegan chicken not looking too hot at the moment the damage is going to be there though everyone is coming over and there that is goes. going to be a kill by the darius staying way 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 too long that he knows at that point no one's staying you know like everyone's already gone back to base why stay for that long a bit of a misplay by the darius getting a little too confident oh i could 1v5 man i'm so <laughs> bad man it doesn't matter and that's going to give up the dragon and that's going to be soul point the rel coming in misses her oh, knockup misses her oh that's going to be damage coming in the lux ult and oh, gonna what fall. Is this? Rel gets a little excited. Knows they have the numbers advantage, but they overcommit. Olaf Holy going in, shit. and he's just not at the point where he can do that. The damage is gonna be too, too much. Glacial Valkyrie are going to take this dragon handily. Threaten them out of the pit. The Caitlyn traps go down. And there's no point of entry, and that's going to be dragon going over. Vegan Chicken getting a nice pick on the Darius, but they just get a little too antsy going for the engage. I mean, that, yeah, Lux ends up throwing a Q a bit too early. There was only yeah. one person there, misses it. Um, and it <laughs> but somehow still, the poke, oh. Oh, oh my God, come on. You had that too. That was brother, a you, Q. you, oh, no. brother, you ulted him. There's no excuse right there. You oh, ulted him. Ult Q no. supposed to be a guaranteed combo. Oh, no. I say that, but I've missed those multiple times. Oh, my, me as well. Yeah. That is just tough to see. That is very, you know, very upsetting for that guy. Um. Ends up dying for it. It's so unfortunate. See, Rel wants to do something. Oh, I think. She, oh, ooh, a good counter. Caitlyn is in trouble. She's almost certainly going to die here. Stays a little bit too long. The chase potential is definitely there for Vegan Chicken. The teleport comes in though. Here comes Syndra. The E misses everyone though. It's not going to be enough. A shutdown goes over. Lux dies. The root lands. They're gonna have to get out of this one though. They are definitely under pressure. Well, they're going to run out of there. Pick up two free kills. Not too bad. Vegan Chicken still in the game. Oh, man. And definitely not too bad of a follow-up from him. Thank you. Um, we see them going around town a little bit here, like SpongeBob blowing a bubble. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness gracious. Uh-oh. That's going to be some resets. Yep. Darius in there. The charm does land, though. She's taking a lot of turret damage. That's too much. He got a little too... He saw a pentakill that wasn't there. That's blood in his eyes. You know that he's seeing that. So... Uh, yeah, and that's going to be crucial. Uh... Syndra is going to die. The Talia, not long for this world as well. Olaf kind of looking a little thick right now. Oh, you know, boy. he's running it right now. He... One Q lands, but the Talia damage is too much. Olaf, all right, you're not that guy yet, buddy. Huh? Owen? Yeah. What do you mean, Owen? Owen 8. Owen 8. Ah! Owen 8 has led the <laughs> game, baby. <laughs> oh, <crazy>. man. <laughs> That's tough, That's man. Too That's, far. That's too far. Chase with the zingers for it. He's always good for that. But yeah, you know, Vegan Chicken, they always kind of claw their way back into it, but they just overcommit. They can't just take the small victories. They want the whole pie. It's there. It's yummy, and they want it. That being oh, said. Go right in. Same problem going on over here. The Ari picks up this kill. This damage is going to be absolutely wow. too much. Land one! The current call. Boom! She's too fast. Please said oh, the Q misses. Oh Talia God. is surfing on them. Gets out of there, but two people fall. And you know, Glacial Valkyrie's got to be careful, man. If they get too far behind, they both teams have the damage to win this game for sure. Like Olaf, man, he's having a rough time. The rest of his team are still in this. The 
Ari, for sure. 4, 1, and 7. 11, 2, and 5 for the Jin. Like, no, see, like really sneakily, this Jin is three items working on his fourth. Definitely in this game. But Caitlyn hasn't even finished her Lord Doms yet. Mm -mm. She, He's going for GA too, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, this this Jin, man, he is he is the reason right now the Vegan Chick are in this game. His positioning is always on point. And it is kind of difficult for this team to get at a Jin when he plays at max range. You know, their CC only has a limited range. And the biggest threat is Darius running at you. And he doesn't have CC immunity like Olaf does. So you can kite that one out. Uh, that being said, uh, little Olaf's a little far from home. This recall is his best bet at living. Darius chooses to go for the wave, it looks like. Not going to try to find Olaf. Olaf gets out. You know, he, he's still farming. He's hanging out, man. He's trying. He's trying. All we can do is, like, is try. That's all we can do. Absolute fact. I think, um, honestly, the way this game is going, Vegan Chicken might have the edge if Glacial Valkyrie does not stop throwing the game. Um, they are getting foolhardy. They're overconfident at the moment. They need to relax a little bit. Realize that the, you know, think about what you guys can actually do in these team fights and try to solidify your plan here. No more Darius running under tower into three people. You can't be having that. That guy's confident. Exactly. I can't blame him. But you guys, nah, you know, you can't blame him. try your best here. Just take a step back. A few deep breaths. We see Baron up in 10 seconds. That dragon at this up in point, 40. You probably want to play for the objectives, right? Now, the counter engage on the side of vegan chickens is very good, but their hard engage is really not there. So, running into them is almost like what they want. You know, they want you to be out of position. They can get picks, get back into the game. Uh, they do have the rel, but maybe that's not even enough. The Q lands, and maybe they're going to be playing around this Baron right here. The dragon coming up soon as well. Two objectives for them to fight over. Sideways, Darius going to try to get that top lane pushing out. They do a five here. Oh they know God. it. They go for the engage, but a huge knockback by the Syndra is going to deter it. But Jin picking up that kill on the Syndra is going to be absolutely massive. Uh -oh. Ari on the side as well, picking up the kill on the Caitlyn. This fight is going absolutely horrible. Olaf, can he pick up a kill? Nope. That is Darius, Darius going on. He's about to... Oh, but he... Oh, oh he's double alive, kill. He's alive. Is, he, is he going to go for it? I don't think so. It's not going to be enough damage. One more attack oh will seal the deal. And oh, boom, a that. W... By the Jin is going to finish that one off. Jin Ooh, popping his stopwatch. Uh -huh. Can he live? The damage from the Talia, the Zanyas. Boom! Oh, AD carry sure. trades his this. life with support. The support going down, oh, and it looks like Glacial Valkyrie will come out on top. One person alive, and it's Talia. God damn. Man, what a wild fight. That was a little crazy. Going to run over to the dragon, secure yeah. it for her spoils. I mean, Jesus. So much stuff going on there, Darius. Somehow had three on him and lived, killed, I think, one or two of them. And then still yep. almost, almost got out if he sidestepped that Jin W. Didn't manage to do it, but a very close fight. And, uh, I mean, Glacial Valkyrie. Oh, my God. She comes out on top with the, grabs the dragon and. 25 Magi stacks. Yeah. That is wild. Mm-hmm. That is a problem right there. You got to finish off oh that Talia. She's playing so well. <laughs> Weaving in and out of these fights, She's surviving right at the end. She's doing a shitload of damage. Who can carry harder, Talia or Jin? That's honestly the question we have right now. The Darius kind of falling off, getting into the team fight phase, is not really finding the reset. It's kind of hard against that team. Mm -hmm. They have the CC, they have the kite potential. Oh man! And Olaf, you know, o nine and eight, he's getting the assists. You know, he's in the fights. He is taking people out. I mean, he was handling yeah, Darius was. in that last fight. He was right next to him, doing a bunch of damage. He got him down pretty low to the point where Darius needs to retreat almost. Mm -hmm. um, he did end up getting the kill, of course, but I mean, to, concerning his 0 9, he shouldn't be able to do that really. Um, so that's really nice to see that he can still perform despite, uh, honestly, not having too much of a KDA impact or gold mm -hmm. at all. So good, good player. Let's go. Only Poppy. And we see Glacial Valkyrie here on the Baron. Yep. They're just going to say, hey, come fight. We know how strong we are. Our Talia is massive. Our Darius is massive. Come fight us on our terms here. Get in here. The curtain call comes down. The damage is absolutely going to be massive. Going over oh. the top. Talia takes it. The damage is not going to be there. Lee Sin is going to fall over the wall. The, oh, my G. God. The Jin GA pops. is popped onto Jin. The trap is there. He's almost certainly going to die. And there he there goes. The auto attack will seal his oh. fate. Darius Be is hungry. Oh, by the Darius. That's going to be a boom. Dunk dunk. 11 kills right now for the Darius. Chasing down Ari. Chasing down the Rel. It's not going to be enough. The Charm does land some good damage down. But they have the Baron. They have the push on the mid. And they might just have the game. 
Oh, 100%. Oh, they, they can't defend this. It's absolutely impossible the, to defend this. This game right. is the all but low. over. The, yeah. autos from the death timers are there. So Lee Sin not coming up in time to defend this. The Demolish procs are here too. But the Rel tries to go in. A beautiful knockback by the Syndra. The Lux ultimate on top of it. Rel falls. The Ari trying to do what she can. Delayed long enough for Lee Sin to come. These health bars are kind of low. The Q misses though. They have the angle onto the Nexus. They're just going to hit it. it the already damage is huge. Here comes there the Lee Sin. It's not going to be enough. They burst down the Nexus, and that is going to be the game. Oh, beautiful, man. beautiful play by Glacial Valkyrie. But it was a game the whole time. Oh, absolutely. If they if they did not end right there, if they had to back, God knows what could have happened. It could have gone and either I way. Um, that's the thing. We love games like this where it's a back and forth almost. Yeah. We see the contenders on both teams. Doing their own work, yeah, you know, making sure that they can just getting your hands dirty, getting oh out God. there on get the rift, you know, just fighting for your life. That's what we want to say. Get in there. We love the victory screen. I mean, let's go. It's just that simple, man. We're doing interviews. Oh, we got interviews coming up. Jin did. Dang. Mm. You know, really good by the Jin to like get that damage for his team, but it's just not enough. You know, you can't carry your whole team as AD carry these days. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Wow, that was a Man, good game. That, that was, was a good great game. You know, game. It was, won. oh my, God. it was close for the most part. Uh, yes, but I you could it. almost argue that that was just Glacial Valkyrie getting a little overconfident, going for plays they maybe didn't need to go for, like, real getting demand. caught out. But at the same time, you gotta compliment uh, Vegan Chicken for finding those opportunities to get themselves back into the game, getting Absolutely. the picks, getting the fights they need. Capitalize on the mistakes <clears> for <throat> sure. You know, get you guys hear me? Hello Ooh, there. Hello, hello. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Uh, sleep. Sleep from Glacial Valkyrie. How you doing after that game, Sleep? Uh, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. So, you know, that game, pretty back and forth, though at the end of the day, you guys probably had control the whole time. You feel like there's things that you can definitely clean up that game, maybe overextending a couple times, getting a little overconfident? Oh, yeah, we were just having fun in that game. <laughs> That's it. We were, just, we were just trying things out, and, I mean, you saw what happened. Yeah, and you know, if you can have fun and still win the game like that, you know, that's pretty good. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. A high range champion like K, you, sounds like you had a pretty good time as her, right? What do you think about that against that uh, team comp you were, you were having there? Oh, I mean, it was good. It was, uh, I mean, Rel's a pain in the ass, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but other than that, no, it was good. Nice. Okay. Always good to hear you're, you know, you're enjoying champs, not meta slave necessarily, so that's good to hear. Um, well done in the game. You know, a good job. There you go. You guys are having a good time, like you said. Um, yeah, is that like yeah. is that like the uh, general consensus is we're in this to have fun, we're in this to have a good time. Is that like the mindset you guys are trying to play with? Oh, no, we're trying to win. It's just and have fun. fun. Just, uh, exactly, right. We're trying to have fun and win, but no, we're definitely in here to win. But uh, that one is definitely more uh, trying, trying things out, you know? Oh. Uh, if you were that Olaf in that game, would you have disconnected? <laughs> oh, 100%. That guy needs to stop. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's... That dude straight up ran it down. Well, oh. dude, I, I mean, to be yeah. fair, whoever gets first blood in that lane, it's over, and it's tapping What team did we just play against? What was that? What team did we just play against? Uh, that was, was Vegan Chicken. Oh, right. Uh, vegan Chickens showed they can be... They can be beat by any team. <laughs> is that the one? Okay. There you go. There you go. That's some strong words right there, and we'll leave you with that. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure we'll talk to you again soon. All right, see ya. Thank you, see Sleep. You. Hey, there we go. That's like game that. one in the like books. That. Yeah. Game one yeah. in the records. Uh, and you know, you know, I, I'm not trying to pile on that Olaf. That's that's borderline not his fault. It's just not fun. You know, like I get if you're behind against the Darius, especially against a champion that's supposed to snowball on your side, you're in a bad spot. Absolutely. That's I mean, that simple. Especially seeing Olaf um, actually do stuff in the team fights after you kind. I mean, you shit on him in lane. Yeah. That's why it ended up happening, he, right? Yeah, you know, but and he Olaf tried. still comes back. He, he tried, still does he the tried. work. I, I wouldn't say he came back. He never got a kill, but he well, tried. As far as the team fight, the team came he back. something going on with the influence. The Jin came fights. back for him. Yes. But, you know, we got another high-octane game. You like Glacial Valkyrie that game? I think we have him again, though. Zach no, Scroll. no, no. We have UMass that's and right. Vegan Chicken. Rar Reapers. Oh, that's right. Two teams we've seen before in a new matchup. Very you exciting. get yourselves ready. Get back here soon. We won't be gone long. Catch you later.